In this video, we're going to explore Hub from a driver's perspective. As drivers typically use Hub on the go using a smartphone or a tablet, we will be showing you the mobile view of Hub. When you log in, the first thing you'll see is the driver's dashboard. From here, you can use the quick actions to complete commonly used tasks. At the bottom of this screen, there is a list of your training certificates with icons to show if they're in date, due to expire or out of date. To add new reports, tap here or go to the reports tab. Select the report you wish to complete, fill out the form and then press submit. When adding fuel logs, make sure you put the mileage in kilometers and if you aren't using a preset fuel card, to enter the price per litre in pence. We recommend doing this every time you refuel to keep the fuel data as accurate as possible. Some functions, like logging a training certificate, also allow you to add files as evidence. To go back to the dashboard, press the Hub logo in the corner. The next area to go over is your training record by pressing here. This shows you the full list of training certificates. Tapping on a certificate brings up the full record for you to view. New training certificates are added using the reports list shown earlier. To view the staff handbook set up by your manager, tap here. This brings up the list of policies and procedures for you to view. By pressing on a specific item, you can view or download the full version. The last area to look at is your profile. If these details need changing at any point, you can edit them here. Making sure to press save changes when you are done. You can also change your email address and password here. All the details on your profile can only be changed by you, not your manager. To see what else Hub can do to help you, explore the other videos in the help center. In this video,